Eccles cakes with their flaky pastry and currant filling are enthusiastically consumed worldwide. It is a saintly confectionery, having religious roots extending back as far as the 16th century when it featured in the cake and ale celebrations of St Mary's Day in Eccles. Living in Manchester, everybody's got memories of Eccles cakes. If it's just school dinners or you know going over to family and them being on the table, Eccles cake illustration we tried to capture the idea of a tea room um, sat in the centre of Eccles with Eccles Town Hall in the um, background through the window pane. So with all the tiles, we we went on location to get an idea of what the place was like. So with the Eve Eccles cake, we went to Eccles, we walked around the town centre and tried to capture the you know the ambience and the people and the, the history which is obviously so key to that part of the city. <laughs> now you put me under pressure. Um, so yeah, the bakery is based in Eccles. We're a family-run bakery. You're all from Eccles. We've all grown up in Eccles, born in Eccles. So it's, it's really nice to be able to give something back to the people of Eccles by making Eccles cakes um, in our own way. So yeah, the recipe that we use is um, based off the original James Birch recipe from 1793. Um, he had a shop about 500 metres away from here on what's now known as Church Street. And yeah, his original recipe contains Vestizia currants, which we still use, uh, candied orange peel, uh, sugar, butter, eggs, uh, and it's wrapped up in puff pastry. Now, the original recipe did contain uh, cow heel jelly, which we decided to omit. It's not acceptable for the modern palate. <laughs> <laughs> the illustration is set within the six inch tile. It's a window into the, you know, the history and the culture of Manchester. It's more than a letter. I think that's what people, you know, they, that's what people like about it when they, when they see it in a in a retail space or a, a gallery. It's difficult to say more than a piece of art, but in in many ways it is because we're we're sort of capturing the imagination of the city, and, you know, the the letters and the themes. They're 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 really just the um, the window in which people can sort of gaze back at their own memories.